Hello everyone and welcome to Fitness Related. In this episode, we're going to do yoga for beginners. Okay, so we're going to target two types of beginners. Okay, so the first type is people who don't exercise at all. Okay, so those are the complete beginners. And second, we're also going to target people who are exercising but are new to yoga. Okay, so maybe you've done it a couple of times, but it's not well, It's not as if yoga is your cup of tea. Okay. Um, what's going to be different about today's workout is that we're going to focus on the basics. So what's not so easy to find in yoga classes is instruction about transitions, okay? Because yoga is more than just, oh, getting to this pose and maintain that pose. It's also about how you go from one pose to the next one. And at least personally, I have had a lot of experience where I had a lot of trouble following the other people in my yoga class because they knew what they were doing but I didn't and they were faster than me and I didn't know exactly oh, how do they do this thing and they put their foot at the right place and it just all comes together um, so that was my experience and I think this is the experience of many people who are just starting out with yoga so today we're going to focus on the basics and build some of the most common transitions so that you know what you're doing and you don't feel like left alone trying to figure this out on your own. Okay, so if you're ready, get your mat and let's get started. Okay, today we're going to start off from my extended child's pose. So how this looks like is you sit on your heels at the back of your mat and your knees are at the edges of your mat. Okay, so once you get into this pose with the straight back, walk your hands towards the front of your mat. Okay, until your forehead reaches the mat. Now you may not be able to get that low, this depends on your shoulder flexibility but the point is to get the stretch on your back and your shoulder blades and it doesn't really matter if you can get all the way to the mat or not. Okay, take a few deep breaths here. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Play a little, go to the left and to the right, okay? Small twists here just to feel uh, your side body getting stretched just a little bit more, okay? And when you're ready, walk it back, walk it back gradually. There's no rush, okay? So if you're a beginner, uh, I'm really glad you chose this video to get started. Uh, thank you for joining me here today. Okay, so now bring your knees together and take a deep breath in, fingertips kiss at the top, and then exhale, twist to the left, keeping your back straight, okay, your chest is lifted, and now deep breath in again. Turn and twist to the other side, keeping your back straight, okay, turning your gaze away and now take one more deep breath in, look up, okay, your hands meet and now bring them down until your thumbs reach your sternum, okay, okay, proud chest here, okay. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Okay, now we're gonna walk to an all fours position. Okay, what this means is that your uh, hands are below your shoulders and your knees are below your hips. Okay. Your back is straight so you're not arching, you're not rounding, okay? Keep your back in a neutral position here, okay? Nice. Okay, so now let's take a deep breath while you arch your back and 
turn your gaze forwards and a deep breath out. Round your spine while you exhale. And one more deep breath in. Turn your gaze away and now turn your gaze in while you exhale. And deep breath in again. And exhale. Okay, now play a little bit with your hips, see how you feel today. Okay, are you sore? Are you tired? Are you energized? How are you? Okay, this, at the end of the day, this is your home practice and you can pretty much do whatever you feel like. Okay, okay, and now let's move into the bird dog exercise. So take your right leg to the back, okay? Your toes are on the floor, okay? Now bring it back and switch legs. Okay, see how it feels? That's nice. Okay, so this is the foundation of the bird dog. Switch legs. And exhale. Okay, now we're gonna do it again. But we're also going to lift one arm, opposite arm with opposite leg. Nice. And lift your other arm. Awesome. If this is your first time doing this, you might have trouble with balance and that's expected. Okay, so don't feel like there's something weird happening. Okay, one more. Perfect. Now let's move it one step up, requiring even better balance. Okay, we're gonna lift our leg off the floor. So same movement. And take it down. And switch sides. And take it down. Let's do it again. And down. Make sure you don't arch your back, okay? Keep your spine in neutral position and there is another video that I've shown that explains what a neutral position is. Um, in short, it's not arching, it's not rounding, it's somewhere in the middle, okay? Let's keep it up with the bird dog. This is a great warm-up exercise. Nice. And one more and exhale okay awesome now let's crawl our toes and what we're going to do is we're going to lift our knees just slightly off the mat okay lift our knees just to get our abs to work Now take it down, beautiful, we're going to do this one more time, okay when you're ready lift your knees just slightly, make sure that as you're doing this you're not sitting in your shoulders, okay, so when your arm to work, when your shoulder blades to work, okay, the back here is Holding strong, you're not dumping your weight on your wrists, okay? This is a very important concept. You are using your back and your shoulder blades and your arm to keep your body up. Yes, this is about the core, but it's not just about the core. Hold it. Deep breaths, focus on the breath. It can help you stay up. And now take it down. Beautiful. Okay. Now we're gonna get into our first downward dog position. Okay. So here's how this is gonna look like. From all fours, curl your toes, and 
we're gonna lift our body up, pushing our hips up and towards the back of the mat, okay? So here's how it looks like. Okay, I'm pressing my hips up, okay, up and towards the back as much as possible. The result of this is that my back feels as if it's trying to get on the mat, okay? And this is normal now for you. The first downward dog may look a bit like this, but okay. Try to push back and you may need to bend your legs, okay? So it's totally okay if you bend your legs. I care about your back position more, okay? I care that you push back and that you're trying to get your sit bones up and to the back. Keep your, bend, your legs as bent as needed. If you can straighten them, that's fine. But if you cannot, no problem at all. Okay, pedal your feet if you want a little bit. It's nice. And now turn your gaze forward and take a few gradual steps to the front of your mat. Keep your knees bent and bow. Okay, so take a relaxed position here. This is forward fold. Take some deep breaths, relax your head and now straighten your legs while you straighten your back. Okay, so don't round, don't round your back. Straighten your back and bring your hands up on the top of your thighs. Okay, this is halfway lift. And now exhale, bend your knees again and go down, relax. Okay, same as before. And now we're gonna press against the mat while we straighten our legs and take a deep breath. So, soften your knees, take a deep breath in. Feel your hips, kiss and exhale, hands to heart, okay? Let's do it one more time. Soften your knees, take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands to heart. And now let's put our hands down on the mat and take your right leg back. Here's how this looks like. Now it's very possible that if you try to do this just now, yours looks something like this. This is uh, normal, this is your first time. Uh, here's what you're supposed to do first. Your heel should be on the mat always, okay? In this low lunge position also. Your knee should be uh, preferably on top of your heel. So if you see that it's on uh, in front of your toes, so if you're here, Okay, then I want you to go back, go back, go back until your knee is preferably on top of your heel. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do this transition again. So I, I was here, I planted my hands on the mat and I took a big step to the back. And if you are here, if you are here after your big step, just walk it. <laughs> walk it back until you get into the right position. Okay, now put your knee on the mat if it's not already. And if you need to, double your mat to have extra padding just below your knee for extra support. And now take a deep breath in while you keep your back straight, okay? So don't let your shoulders round, turn them back. Take a few deep breaths here and try to push towards the back a little bit so don't totally sink in, okay? This 
it's harder than it looks like. <laughs> a few deep breaths here. And when you're ready, take it down. Plant your palms again. Okay, beautiful. And now take your left foot together with your right foot. Okay, nice. Now I have them both together. Now put your knees on the floor and let's lower down to the belly all the way down. So notice that when I got down my hands are right next to my chest. So they're not here, the knots somewhere here, they were here, okay? So let me do this transition again. I lower down, and when I lower down, look at this position. Great, okay. Now press against the tops of your feet and use your back muscles to lift your upper back up. Okay, baby cobra. Inhale, exhale. Don't use your arms to do this, use your back muscles. Inhale and exhale. Okay, beautiful. And now crawl your toes and push back into all fours. Okay, and now that we're here, we're gonna push back into a downward dog, a downward facing dog. Okay, nice. Remember your hips are up and to the back. You're constantly pressing. So this is also harder than it looks like. <laughs> okay, and when you are ready, then you gaze forward. And now I'm going to teach you one more transition. We're going to break. Actually, I'm going to open my hands a little bit. I'm going to bring my right foot, sorry, my left foot towards my left hand. Okay, I did it. And I'm back to the low lunge I was before. Here's how this happened. Because at first, when people were doing this, I didn't understand how they could get their foot all the way to the front. Okay, but here's the trick. So you're in downward dog then you get into pretty much a plank to uh, bring your foot forward and what you're doing is see see this movement here so you go on your toes as much as possible you go high and you may also need to raise your hips just a tiny bit okay so if you do this and you lift your arm so also um, Transfer your weight a little bit towards the other side, then you can make it happen. Okay, so let's do this again. Okay, so lift, raise, and make it happen. <laughs> it takes some practice. Okay, it took it took some practice for me, but that's so it's normal if this is uh, the way it happens to you too. Um, I actually should have. Switch should have brought the other leg to the front, so uh, <laughs> right leg forward, not left leg. So uh, lift and bring your foot forward. That's great. Now put your knee down on the mat and fold your mat if you need extra support, and I definitely do. And now press it against. Your, uh, press your foot against the floor so you lift. Okay, keep your back straight, your shoulders are rolled. Try not to sink in, okay? Try to engage your leg here so that you press against the floor. And take a few deep breaths. And one more. Okay, this is great. And now 
plant your palms again. Raise your knee up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our leg forward, okay? And if this doesn't work for you, for you just walk. Uh, <laughs> these things again take some practice. Okay, so bend your knees. We are back into a forward fold, just like we did before. This is a relaxing position. Okay, bend knees. Relax neck, relax arms, everything is relaxed here and now. Inhale, halfway lift with a straight back, okay? And keep your head, okay, long neck here, so don't have your neck in any other position rather than uh, continuing this line. Nice, and exhale, go back into forward fold. Okay, it's so a relaxing position here again. And now, deep breath. Press against the floor, softening your knees and feeling your tips, kiss and exhale. Hands to heart. And now let's do it again. Deep breath in. And exhale. We're going to do something different. Open your arms and rain down. <laughs> okay. And now, take your uh, slightly bring your uh, feet together if they're not already and bend your knees while you push your seat to the back a little bit okay so don't don't do that okay push your seat to the back and straighten your arms and now lift them up perfect and hold this position here. This is the chair pose. And if this is easy, you can try lowering your seat even further. That's only if you don't try to put your knees in front of your toes, okay? So I'm gonna do it here in the middle of the mat. Perfect. So take a deep breath here. And exhale, turn to one side, bringing your hands together. My right elbow is on top of my left knee and I'm looking up. Okay, so I'm in a twist. That's beautiful. And now, inhale again. And exhale, we're gonna go to the other side. Perfect. Look up. That's nice. Okay, now I'm gonna plant my palms once again and bring my right leg to the back. And if you happen to be in a position like I am, in this case, I'm gonna bring my left foot forward. Okay, now you can put your um, right knee on the mat if you need to or you can keep it up okay up to you we're gonna do exactly what we did before so it's only totally up to you your fitness level how you feel today okay now push against the floor keep straight back that's nice make sure your hips are square so you're not turning to the side Square hips here. And now, take it down. Okay, transition here. I'm turning my left foot to meet the right foot. Perfect, now put your knees on the mat. And let's take it down to the belly. Again, notice the position of your hands. Now, Press against the tops of your feet as you inhale, work with those upper back muscles and exhale down. And inhale and exhale down. Now release your arms and interlace your fingers. And inhale again 
Exhale down. And inhale again. And exhale down. Now bring your hands back next to your chest. Crawl your toes. Go back into all fours. Okay, open your knees a little bit if you need to. Widen that stance. And now we're going to go into a downward dog position. Perfect. Nice that. Now that you've done a couple of downward dogs, you should be able to push deeper into it, get deeper into the pose. Your heels don't have to be on the, on the mat, okay? So keep your, your knees bent. Okay, now look straight and transition here. We're gonna bring our right foot next to the right hand. So you go almost into a plank, you go into your toes, transfer your weight and bring your foot forward. Nice? Okay, so now we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to press against the mat and come back all the way up. Okay, so press against the mat, find your balance here, bend your back knee and raise your arms up. Perfect. You've done such great work today, you have learned so much, you have advanced so much. This is great. Again, make sure your hips are square and you're not turning to the sides. Make sure your heel at the back is lifted up. You're not, you don't have a, your back is not like that. Lift it, okay? Lift it. And keep tension in your arms, okay? So spread your fingers and also push your arms as far to the back as possible. Deep breaths. And one more deep breath here. And now take your arms down. Take, put your palms on the mat. And let's take our right leg back to meet the left leg. Option to put your knees down if you need to, or if you are strong enough, keep those knees up and take it down. Now release your arms, interlace your fingers, and inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale again. And exhale. Okay, beautiful. Now bring your hands again next to your chest. Your elbows hug your side body. Press back into all fours and back again into our final down facing dog of the day okay so head on your feet here beautiful try to get as deep as you can in the pose and now look straight ahead and walk it to towards the front okay slow walk here bring your feet together okay relax okay this is the forward fold and now inhale halfway lift your back is straight and exhale soften your knees and go back down into the forward fold and now take your arms, straighten them, take them to the back and inhale, ok, 
Okay, circular movement here with the arms and get into chair pose. Beautiful. Make sure your back is straight, your nuts. This is not a chair pose. <laughs> Keep your back straight and push up. And deep breath in. Inhale and exhale. Turn towards one side, hands together. Beautiful. And now, inhale again, chair pose. And exhale, turn to the other side. Beautiful. And now, release. And inhale, and big breath up. Bring it this kiss and exhale. Hands to heart. Okay, so that was it for today. Yoga for beginners. Okay, this was a very conventional yoga routine to teach you some very important transitions that happen in yoga all the time, and that uh, too often. I don't see those transition starts and people are having difficulty getting into the right pose because they're not taught how to move from one pose to another. So I hope you found it helpful. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned because we release one new video every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.